How's it going everyone? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video and today is Tuesday, October the 26th. Hope you're all having a good day, having a good night, getting through the week here. Now I just wanted to sort of talk about something quickly, uh, more so open it up uh, as a conversation that maybe we can have in the comments below. But the more and more I think about things, you know, I, I do, as most of you know, Love the original Xbox, albeit I haven't really been playing it a whole lot lately. Uh, the Xbox One that I have, the One X, I love it. I don't have a PS5, I don't have a PS4. Uh, now, I want to specifically talk about the sweet spot of gaming. So, I just find lately, uh, I've been finding a lot more games out in the wild that I had not even heard about before for the seventh gen. So we're talking the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 as well. Now, I guess you could probably lump in the Nintendo Wii when you talk about the seventh gen as well. And I do like the Nintendo Wii. I've got a decent little collection going, if you will, for the Wii. But when I think of the seventh gen, I really think about the PS3. And, I, and personally, for me, uh, the Xbox 360, but you could sort of lump those two consoles in together because a lot of the multi-plats uh, are shared across both consoles. But as well, you've got some incredible exclusives that were only on the PS3 and some exclusives that were only on the Xbox 360. I just find, you know, the back cat, like the catalog of games, the games that are available out there for the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Uh, again, I've gone on record a couple of months ago, maybe it was even a year ago, I said I was done collecting for the Xbox 360, but it seems like every time I go out to a thrift store, or I'm looking at my Twitter feed, or I'm talking to someone in the comment section, I'm finding out about all these games that I didn't even bother to really look into with regards to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Like the 360, I'm looking at my collection here as an example. And you've got uh, the enhanced version of Gun, uh, Red Dead Redemption, Bully, L.A. Noir, Grand Theft Auto V, Max Payne 3, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Man, there's so many good games. you got the Dark Souls series, Halo, Gears of War, Quake 4, Mafia 2, Test Drive Unlimited 2, PGR 4. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Max Payne 3. It's pretty intense. It's pretty crazy. So many good games. And then you're looking at the PlayStation 3. You've got Motorstorm. You got uh, Beyond Two Souls, Last of Us, the Uncharted series, God of War. You know, there's so many good games to choose from on the PlayStation 3. And I, I, I don't have a large PlayStation 3 collection. I'm still collecting for it. But. Like I said, there's just so many good games for the 7th gen. And they're cheap right now, fairly cheap for the most part. But that's sort of kind of trickling away uh, a lot of the primo titles for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 are going up in price. I don't know, and I've said this before, I don't know, you know, if I, had got, if I got rid of my entire Xbox 360 collection right now, I don't know if I could really go through the process of trying to get all these games again. Um, you could say the same for the sixth generation of games as well. More so the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2. I find the PS2, for the most part, still pretty easy to collect for. But the original Xbox, I'm starting to find it's more difficult. Uh, when you go into the thrift stores now, I'm not seeing as many original Xbox games. Uh, I think a lot of collectors are starting to latch on to the original Xbox. But... Like I said, we're talking about the sweet spot of gaming. And the more I think about it, the more it might have been the 7th gen. I just can't get over the quality of titles during that period of time. From around 2005 up until around 2012, 2013. The quality of games. Let's just face the facts. There were way more better games for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 than there was for the PS4 and the Xbox One. If you want to disagree, go ahead. <laughs> and we don't even have to talk about the current gen consoles because there are no good games, hardly any at all. 
So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, really like the original Xbox. Love the PlayStation 2. Really love the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 as well. The the, the, the catalog of games, I, I, I just, I don't think it was really at that level during the PS4 and the Xbox One era. And it's certainly not at that level now in the generation that we're in. So... What do you guys think uh, about the sweet spot of gaming? Do you think it was the seventh gen? Do you think that was the peak? Uh, I think that was the peak, to be honest with you. I, I can't go too far back uh, when I think about the SNES. And yes, I do like the Genesis. But those games, uh, while they're great uh, in their own sort of way, uh, I find the seventh gen is where we really started to see the evolution of gaming. And, uh, you know, gone were the days of the simplistic side-scroller games or the rudimentary uh, 3D platformers. I found, you know, when we got into the 7th gen, that's where we started to get these really immersive experiences uh, with these big open worlds and these expansive storylines. So, yeah. I don't know. I think maybe the 7th gen was the sweet spot of gaming. I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments below uh, if you disagree, if you agree. Uh, I think it's a good conversation to have. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, have a good rest of your night. Take care.